Welcome everyone, my name is Kevin Cervantes and today I will be walking you through my senior project. My project is called Broke House Audio and essentially what I did was take my mixing engineering hobby and turn it into a full-time online business. Now the focus behind the business is to provide online mixing engineering services to artists and musicians that are in the market for that specific thing. And to go along with that, I created a webpage that has a portfolio section displaying the work I have previously completed and it also links to two social media pages that I will demonstrate more in detail in a bit. One of those is an Instagram page and one of those is a YouTube page. Now the YouTube page serves a very specific purpose. I will be creating a knowledge database there. I will be uploading videos that relate to mixing engineering specifically. So I'll be doing software demonstration, mix walkthroughs, instructional uh, videos. And the intent behind that is that people will see my workflow, they will hear the way my music sounds, and hopefully that generates a flow between the web page, the YouTube page, and the actual business. I will now be walking you through the specifics of the project, including a short overview of my web page, along with a, a brief demonstration of what I like to do when I approach a mix, just so it is clear what kind of signature and what kind of sound I am going for. When you get to my webpage, the first thing you see on the home tab is my logo along with my name and my title down at the bottom. Then you have the credit section, which is essentially a portfolio area I mentioned earlier. And then you have a media section where I link back, back to my YouTube page. And then you can also find my Instagram link on the top right. So you, you can click it and it will re redirect you there. And then finally, I have a contact page. If you wish to work with me, you can leave your name, your email, and all the details of the project at hand just were on the same page. Now, going back to the credit section, the portfolio section, I would like to briefly use a song down here called Fentanyl by Miss Fortune to s demonstrate the way I like to approach a mix, the way I like to work. So the way I like to start a mix before I do anything to the tracks is that I do a very rough fader mix. What a fader mix is, is that you just simply grab these faders and you adjust the volume so that everything is audible without doing any other processing to it. So once I have a very rough fader mix, I can actually listen to what problems the individual tracks have, and then I can proceed to treat them as a whole. Now, when approaching a mix, one thing that is essential to my sound, to my workflow, is that I like to keep the original intent, the original feel intact. At the end of the day, the, the song belongs to the musician, not to the mix engineer. So I, I always keep that in mind. Now, working within those boundaries, I, I feel like my music has a very specific sound. I like to make my music very loud, very punchy in your face, while at the same time keeping all the instruments very clear and audible. So I will take a section of this song the, the song Fentanyl by Misfortune that I mentioned off my webpage. And I will turn off all the processing I did to the tracks, all the effects that I put on there, just so we can all hear what the song sounded like before I worked on it. So the song doesn't sound too bad. That's because of the volume, the fader mix that I did, everything's audible just by messing around with the volume. Now I will be turning on all the processing I did and we can compare what the song sounds like. That pretty much covers up the entirety of my project. I really hope that a mix walkthrough perfectly demonstrated the approach I'm taking when it comes to mixing my sound, my signature. And I really hope this walkthrough demonstrated the thought process that went into this project. To everyone watching, thank you and I hope you enjoyed.